my guys here with uh, Vax Rapid um, carpet cleaner and uh, as you can see here it just seems to be leaking when I'm trying to wash the carpet to have a look at it I've, I've removed the uh, fluid container just gonna inspect the valve just gonna remove it and have a look at it this is the valve disassemble here and uh, this is the actual valve unit here I've had to put a bit of super glue around the plug at the top here the rubber part right there because it was loose and then just put it back together put the rubber bung in first like so and then just turn it put it back into the container make sure it's seated and once that's seated it's just a matter of plugging the valve back in there you can see and I filled it up with water just to test it held it up and it doesn't seem to be leaking so that seems to be fine and now I'm going to have a look at the actual cleaner itself um, if you have a look at the back here there's usually a um, cord holder but this one's broken off so first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove these screws on the back here remove these eight screws on the back And uh, make sure you've removed the plug from the wall socket prior, like I've done here. Like I said, I've just got to remove these screws at the back. And then there's two screws at the front when you fold it, the um, lever that the top section down. And then there's four screws on here. Two of them will be for your cord grip. Like I said, mine's broken. I've re already removed the screws. And it's just a matter of working the cover off, like so. To inspect this valve here to show you here this valve controls the fluid application and I'm just gonna inspect it so it's just a matter of removing the two screws and lifting the unit out like this there's two circlips on these yellow and black um, pipes but I've removed them and there's just a lifting the unit off and this is the unit here this is the actual actuator that controls the when you press the handle it lets the fluid um, the cleaning fluid through you can see I'm just operating it there if it's up like this you can blow through the one hole if it's down like this you can blow through the other it locks uh, one of the holes off and that's just the action it makes so what happens is inside here there's a pump and it pumps fluid into the machine and it pumps out into the yellow um, pipe first which pumps when you pull the lever it goes to the black pipe here and feeds the cleaning fluid so we're just going to put this um, section back for the container supply let's put that back in place got a little sponge down the middle and I'm just going to refit the um, actuator because it seems to be working fine I'll put the clips on um, here you can see I've fitted it I've only got one hand one hand's holding the camera so it's just a matter of fitting it down like so I'm putting the screws back in and then just tighten them up once you've done that, you just got to make sure this lever's uh, secured down. And then you just got to test, just got to make sure these uh, cables are not um, snagged or kinked. Then when you press the orange lever, this is what happens inside. See, it um, operates actuator, just give you a demo. When you're pressing this handle to um, supply 
cleaning fluid this is what happens inside so you just want to make sure that action is working make sure the links working and now that that's done it's just a matter of reassembling the unit a bit tricky this part and just putting the screws back in and here you can see here let's give it a try Let's give it a quick demo there. You can see at the back here. Get around there. It's not, le it's not leaking anymore. And that pretty much concludes. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.